In this video, I'll go over some of the essentials such as training underwear, step ladders, as well as compare the different type of potty toilets in the market and which one could be perfect for you and your little one. This is the second part of my toilet learning series. If you haven't watched the first one on toilet learning, check it out after this video for tips and tricks on how I was able to teach my son to use the toilet in less than a week. When you start toilet learning with your child, it is, for lack of a better word, scary. In a sense that we don't really want to ruin anything, especially furniture, from getting soiled. This is where training underwear comes in. The idea behind them is that they offer extra layers of padding to help absorb a bit more of the pee from getting on clothing or the floor. They're not like diapers in that they absorb so well that your child might not even know that they're wet. Also, training underwears are not cloth diapers, which keep the mess contained like regular diapers. You do want your child to know that pee and poop belong in the toilet so they still need to see the consequences when they have a miss. It serves as a learning experience. Training underwear is more of a first layer of defense for any misses from getting onto the floor or furniture, making cleaning up a bit easier. I've used two brands of training underwear, Gerber and Tiny Undies. We started off with Tiny Undies as it has two layers of cotton which according to them can hold small to mid-sized pee from getting on the clothes or making the floor wet. Maybe my son's pee was all considered large amounts but for the most part every time he had a miss, his pants also got wet. Not soaked or anything, just a bit damp, which of course still required a change of clothing. However, it did seem to help keep my floors and furniture from getting wet. Although to be on the safe side for that first day, I try to keep all his activities standing or sitting on wooden or plastic furniture only. The only downside of these underwears is that they're a bit expensive. It's $25 for three pairs. And if you're planning to toilet learn, you'll probably want somewhere from nine to 12 pairs as they might go through them fairly fast the first couple of days. So spending $75 to $100 is quite a bit of money. And I also want to point out that Tiny Undies has two different types of underwears. There's the regular ones that doesn't have any padding and then the training ones, which is the one with the double layer of padding. The other option are Gerber training pants, which are very similar, except it only has a single layer. When we switched to these, my son was already not having many pee misses, but the one time he did, his pants were quite wet. Definitely would have transferred over to the furniture if he was sitting on one, but it did keep the pee from leaking all over the floor. The Gerber training pants are significantly cheaper at $10 for three. The trade-off being they're not quite as absorbent, but you do save some money. I don't think you can go wrong with either options as they both offer a bit of extra protection. And honestly, you probably might not need the protection too long as it's really important only for the first couple days that where they have a lot of misses. Eventually they'll have less and less and that extra double layer of padding or the single layer of padding won't even matter. The next essential item that parents should get are waterproof mattress protectors. You definitely don't want to get the bed wet as cleaning a mattress isn't exactly easy nor fast. I would suggest that you get at least two sets of the waterproof mattress protectors so that you can easily change it out and go back to bed without having to do laundry in the middle of the night. I know some parents also like to layer the bed with multiple of these. So it would be something like waterproof protector, sheets, waterproof protector, and sheets. This way if anything happens, you can just pull off the soil with sheets and waterproof protector without having to go through the hassle of changing the sheets in the middle of the night and then you can just go back to bed. So if you've looked at potty toilets on Amazon, you've probably noticed that there are quite a bit of different types like individual small potty toilets, add-ons to go over your regular toilet seat, and even one where you completely replace your current toilet seat. And like most parents out there, I had no idea which one was best for our son. So we ended up with all three of those types I just mentioned. Let's go over the pros and cons of each type. So we have two different individual potties. This one here is the Ikea one. And overall, all of these individual potties are really good because they're usually low to the floor. So it's really easy for your toddler to pull their own pants down and sit on it without any issues. Um, one of the things that they are, they do happen to do is they take up some room in your restroom. So if your restroom doesn't have a lot of room, then these might not be a good fit for you. But overall, they're very simple to use. This one here is the Ikea one. Um, all you do is, of course, once they sit down and finish peeing, you lift this up, um, empty it into the toilet, flush it, and then you can rinse it in the sink. So these are great for that. Um, my son does like using this one for pee quite often just because it's so easy for him to access to and he doesn't have to try to get on the actual toilet. Um, let me go show you the other one we have. All right, so this is the other individual toilet we have. This one is by a brand called Summer. Um, it's actually really nice in that this piece here that's removable. It's supposed to fit into your toilet, but of course it's gonna depend on your toilet seats because not all toilets are equal. Um, I have tried it on ours and it doesn't seem to fit too well. Let me go ahead and show you guys. 
All right. So as you can see, while I do put on here, it fits, it slides around quite often. So it's not very stable. So your child might not feel very uh, comfortable using it like this. So I would suggest just stick with this piece here with the uh, included toilet. Um, the great thing about this one is that this one has a little spot up here for you to kind of just put stuff. Um, we put wipes up here for him to try to use himself, although he hasn't been using them as well, or he hasn't used it successfully yet. Another thing we like about this little summer infant one, or at least my son likes a lot, is this fake flush here. So I want you to hear this. So of course it's not a real flush, but uh, he likes that sound because it makes him think it's like a real toilet. And once again, he likes using this one for pee up here while we're in the upstairs restroom. So we keep this one up here as it is takes up a little bit more room. It is much bigger. Um, let me show you actually how to empty it real quick. So you just pick it up and you can empty it and I show him to come and empty it into the toilet. And that's what he does. And then simply just put it back on and it's there it is. So one of the best things about these little individual potties is that they're really low so your child can easily sit on it. They don't have to worry about climbing on a step stool or anything. They don't have to worry about falling off or having any balance. They just pull down the pants and sit down and use the restroom. It's that simple. However, they do take up a quite a bit of room. So depending on your restroom, this might not work. Another nice thing about the individual potty toilet is that you can leave one in your car. So this way, you know that your child always has a safe, clean spot to use the toilet. Of course, this only works if you have a big enough car. I've used the IKEA one a couple times in the trunk of my wife's Subaru Outback without any issues. Of course, I also use a sunshade to offer a bit more privacy when my son was going. I usually just bring a couple plastic bags to dump the contents in and use wet wipes to wipe everything down. There are also ones that are made specifically for travel that allow you to put a plastic bag to catch everything to allow for a cleaner experience. So that's something to consider if you frequently have outings or maybe even for those long road trips. Another popular option are these seat cover ones here, which is this one here I have is the baby one. All you do is kind of put it down here onto your toilet seat and it's nice and secure for them. Kind of similar to that little insert I was showing you earlier from the summer brand. Um, but the, this one is much better because it doesn't really move around or if it does, there's like a little adjustment. I'm not sure if I can, well, here. So there's adjustment here that allows you to adjust it diff um, differently depending on your toilet seats. So here you can just kind of tighten it a bit. All right, let me see if I can show you a little bit better. All right, so here, it, um, one hand is a bit hard. All right, so let me show you what exactly I mean by adjusting it. Here you have a wheel that can make the little edges here smaller or take up more room depending on your different toilet seat covers. So let's go ahead and put it on lines real quick again. And then I'll tighten it up. And then now you can see it's very, very secure. And when your child sits on it, they're very comfortable with it. However, with seat covers like this, you do require something for them to get up on, kind of like a stepping ladder or anything like that, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, this one here we have once again is the Baby Bjorn brand. Um, it is not one of the cheaper ones, but it is nice in that it's very stable. And my son does seem to prefer this one right now whenever he goes number two. I'm not quite sure why, but this is his preference of usage for number two. Okay, and there are these optional hooks that you can buy separately to kind of just hang them on, which makes it really nice because otherwise you don't want to leave it there or you don't want to just prop it up behind your toilet seat or something. Another option which is great is this one I have here. Uh, let me put it like this. All right, so this one right here is by Joel, which is meant to be also portable. So which is nice for you to take out with you when you're going out so that your child can still feel safe when they're sitting down using the restroom. Um, this one has little suctions here, which um, are actually very, very powerful. So once you put them on, it's gonna take a while for you to get it off. All right, so while having strong suction, it's really good for being stable and not having your child fall off or slip off of it or anything. It's also bad because when you want to remove it, it's pretty tough. So I'm not sure about you, but me touching those public toilet seats, oof, it's not a very something I want to think about. All right, and just in case you were wondering how it folds up, this one folds up fairly easily. All you do is kind of just fold this one up like this and boom, you can take it with you comes with this nice little travel bag. Um, you just put it in there and you can take it with you, put it in your bag, your diaper bag, and you can use any restroom that you want.
If you do end up with something like the Jewel for going out, you might find automatic flushing toilets to be a pain as they can randomly flush while your child is on the toilet, causing them to either be afraid or curious to why the toilet is flushing. To remedy this, simply carry around some post-its with you and cover the sensor. This way it won't accidentally go off while your child is using the toilet. With a similar idea, kind of like the seat cover versions, they also have these that are kind of built in here that you replace your whole toilet seat with one that has an additional one for your child. So now it has, of course, the regular cover, one for your child, and then one for the regular adults. So this one is nice because um, once you change it out, I don't know about you, for my house though, none of my toilet seats are, are soft closed. So imagine if your child just kind of pushes it down, it closes nicely, it doesn't slam down and scares your child. And this one particular one, um, most of them don't have soft clothes for this section, but this one, the Delta brand here, does have a soft clothes, so it's really nice in that it won't scare your child by accident. Last thing you want them to is to be scared of the toilet seat. However, they do have the downside of this one is because the whole of them is usually a bit bigger. So my son is a little bit more scared of this one versus the other ones. And one more thing, I'm not sure about girls, but having a boy, you really want that splash guard because, um, well, what I'm talking about is, you see here, this potty has a little splash guard here, and then this one here has a nice little area for a splash guard. Well, this, of course, prevents the pee from coming outside of the toilet, especially the little boys. Um, they don't know how to aim down yet. So without the splash guard, this can get a little bit messy until they know how to aim themselves down. And even when they do aim themselves down, sometimes the liquid gets kind of caught um, between this area right here and it gets this part all wet and sometimes it gets down here. So that is a little bit of downside of these. However, the biggest thing, the biggest pro about these is that it has the least amount of room, takes up the least amount of room. You just have to buy this, um, changing it out. It's pretty very, very easy changing them out. Um, usually just a screwdriver and a wrench can do it. Um, took me maybe 15, 20 minutes max, and that's only because I was reading instructions very thoroughly. And the reason why I was reading the instructions very well is because this one here has an LED light, um, which is really nice because it's a very soft light for when you're using the toilet at night, so you don't have to turn on the regular lights with the regular lights sometimes waking up the, you know, kind of waking up a little too much. But this one's nice, it's just a little light here, and it just, everything is visible so that you know where the toilet is. All right, so, for upstairs, we have a different brand for the seat cover that we replaced. This one was really nice because there's a nice little magnet here that holds the child's toilet seat. It's actually a very, very strong magnet. However, the downside of this one, while it is soft clothes for the main cover and soft clothes for the regular toilet seat cover for the adults, this middle one is not. So it's just kind of falls down and could be very loud and your child might get scared of it if it makes too loud of a noise. Um, this one has a slight splash card, but it might as well not be there because it doesn't really do too much, at least not for my son. But it is nice that it has a little magnet and it just holds it in place. And one good thing is about this one compared to the other one is if you need to use the toilet and you're in a rush and you forget, this one you just lift the toilet seat up and the seat cover is already attached here. The other one, you have to do one more lifting, otherwise you end up sitting on the child's seat. There's one more type of potty toilet that's a combination of a stepladder and a seat cover. Personally, we didn't go for this one as it might have been nice to have everything in one, but we would still need a stepladder for my son to wash his hands. In the end, this combination would actually end up taking up more space, but I could see some parents preferring this so they don't have to constantly move the stepladder between the toilet and the sink. So each of these types have its own pros and cons, but if you ask me what would be my preference now after using all these types, I would probably pick the replacement toilet seat cover ones. It doesn't take up as much room as the individual potty toilets, and chances are you have to get a stepladder for your child to reach the sink. So having a stepladder and an individual toilet in a restroom takes up a lot of space. The reason I prefer replaceable toilet cover seats over the detachable covers is overall it's just less hassle of having to keep putting it back on and taking it off. The high splash guard is nice, but you also have to make sure that they stay clean before hanging them up. I find it's best just to teach your child to aim into the toilet from the beginning. 
All right, now let's talk about the step stool. Here I have two different versions. One here is the wooden one that's a little bit higher and is sturdier. And then there's this plastic one here, which is shorter and not so sturdy. So the reason why you want a step ladder is because you want them to be able to stand up and wash their hands by themselves. Um, they also comes in handy if your child is using one of these seat cover versions here. Um, you can just bring it over when they need to go use it here and they can just kind of climb up and use the restroom. So we initially bought this one here. Um, we actually have two of them. They're made of plastic. Uh, we liked it because it doesn't seem to take up much room and we thought that this would be perfect. However, um, it is a little bit short, so unless your child is a bit tall, it is harder for them to reach the sink to wash their hands. And the biggest issue though was that it's not very stable. So you can see it just kind of slides too easily. Um, it does have these stoppers here. However, they're not really made of um, rubber. They're just kind of plat. They're very, they're, they are rubber, but they're not like sticky rubber. So it doesn't hold onto the floor. And here I have tile floors. So you would think rubber and tiles would, you know, keep it semi-steady, but it just slides. So that's why we ended up getting this wooden one here, which we found is a lot better. All right, so this one does have foam paddings on it to keep it from sliding around, which is much better. And also this has additional weight so that it's a little bit more sturdy. My son does prefer this one because he has these handles here that he's able to hold on to when he's climbing up and sitting on the toilet seat. So that's very important for them. They want to make sure they feel safe because if they don't feel safe, they're not going to want to use the toilet. And this is much better because as you can see here, it is quite a bit taller. And my son isn't the tallest boy or tallest child. So he really needs the extra height to be able to get up here to wash his hands. Another reason why you want to make sure the step ladder is high enough is that you want their feet to be able to rest on the ladder to create a squatting position. The squatting position helps your child's bowel movements. There's actually science behind this. When you sit, your colon gets kinked. But in the squatting position, your colon is unkinked, allowing for an easier flow. The same concept applies for adults as well. Faucet extender is pretty important, especially if your child is a bit on the smaller side. Um, it's great because it allows the water to just kind of flow out so they can reach your child's hand easier, depending on um, where they are. And this one is especially nice because of the length. It's longer than the other one we have. I'll show you that one in a bit. And this one can also adjust. So depending on where you want it or your different sinks, you know, different styles of sinks and everything, this one will work pretty much for almost all styles. However, there is a downside on using these is that you do have to make sure to clean them every once in a while because inside of here, sometimes I do notice water stains, so it would be best to clean them. And they're pretty easy to put on. You just kind of slime it on like this and it's on. Um, so you can take it off if you want. However, I'm a bit lazy. I just leave it on because it still works for me. Here's the other faucet extender we have. Um, this one definitely is a little bit shorter. It's cheaper. Um, there's no, you can't really adjust it. Once it's like this, it's, it's like this. So that's the downside of it, but it is cheaper and it works similar to the same. But of course it doesn't go out as far. So my son does have to reach his hand in a little bit more for this one to work well for him. All right, the last little addition I did to this downstairs restroom is I added this command hook based towel rack. Um, it's really nice because our other one is a little bit far for him. So let me check, show you. So if he's standing right there in front of the sink, he can't really reach the other towel to kind of dry his hands. And this one right here, having it right here on the side, it's really convenient for him to just grab it and walk, um, dry himself and then he can put it back on. And overall, it's uh, pretty sturdy um, and it's command tape, so you don't have to worry about it damaging your wall. At least I haven't had any command tape damage my walls, um, but there's a possibility of it. However, I did find it uh, much more useful since it's easier for him to access it. Hopefully this list of products will help you and your child have an easier time toilet learning. If you haven't checked out my video on how we helped our son learn to use the toilet, go ahead and check it out for some tips and tricks. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one.